And now over to Tim, who's making a great winter breakfast for us. Congratulations, Tim. Week one down. Yeah, thank you very much. Good to be, good to be Friday. Yeah. yeah. I what made you, it through are, the week, that's what he's saying. He's like, <laughs> I get a break from these guys. What are, you, what are you doing today? Well, today I'm doing Spanish uh, baked eggs, which is basically a, uh, a Spanish tomato broth with a few herbs and spices and everything that goes in there. Uh, and then we'll be whacking some eggs on there and baking it. And uh, it's my favourite brunch at the moment, my go-to on a Saturday morning. So I'm doing it today so you can get prepared for tomorrow. First and foremost, I've got to put the, uh, put the pan on and I've just diced up here an onion and a couple of cloves of garlic. We're going to throw that in here. Now the key for this recipe is to go low and slow. If you try and rush this recipe, uh, you won't get anywhere near as much flavour out of it as, pot, uh, as you can. So I'm just chucking these and there's a little bit of olive oil in there that we're going on there. The, uh, the pan's on low heat. And then I'm going to add in a few spices. So we've got some cumin, we've got some coriander, some uh, cinnamon, which adds a nice depth of flavour. A bit of chilli. If you're not a fan of spice, you can omit this. Uh, and we've got a bit of smoked paprika, which gives us our smokiness. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, you can throw some bacon in there at this time as well. Uh, but I'm just going to cook this low and slow and, uh, and see you guys again soon for when I add some, some liquid and, and we get into it properly. Yes, we are cooking up a protein-packed breakfast, which is great for skiers and those that just have an active day during winter to get everything in them that they need. And Absolutely. we're about to, yeah, we're about to see that, Tim. Well, we added the garlic and the yeah. onion, and yeah. we cooked that low and slow with the spices. And why is that low and slow? Well, what we're trying to do here is really bring out those uh, spicy flavours and the caramelisation of the onions. Okay, uh, makes sense. And also, we need to cook out those spices because you get that kind of grindy, raw flavour of spices if you don't cook it out. So that's what we've done there. And that's all done, and what I've uh, cut up here is a whole sausage of chorizo. Nice. And so we're going to put that in. Remember, we're, we're doing all of this low and slow. Low so and slow. The temperature here is on low, all right? And so I'm just going to stir that through, and we're going to allow the fat from the chorizo. You can start to hear it now. It's going to slowly get absorbed into the pan and add all those beautiful Spanish flavours that are in that sausage in through everything else that we've got there. All right. Nice work. What I'm going to get you to do, though, oh, okay. next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're oh, not here just for a good time, are you? <laughs> no. Yeah. no. Um, I'm going to get you to grate the tomato into grate the bowl. Grate the tomato. Okay. Yeah. Which, which, which grater am I going to Well, use? yeah, we've got a few options here. Gosh, don't we? Uh, we're going to just do the standard one the here. The big one. Yeah. Yep. And it's easier if you have it in the bowl because obviously a tomato's got quite a bit of liquid. <laughs> all right. And we want all of that in there. I'm so, pleased you're here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know. I've never grated a tomato before. Yeah. So what this is doing is it's just breaking down a lot of the tough kind of flesh that the tomato has and, and go hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you want I'm to graze it. I'm scared that it's all good skin. You're right. Oh, this isn't working very <laughs> well. It's just all falling to bits, or is that what we yeah, want? Yeah, no, no, that's absolutely what we want. So we're trying to, because if we were to just cut that up and put it in here, we'd get a lot of the skin and that would all stick together, but we're cutting through all that skin there, getting, breaking down all the fibre uh, that's in the tomato, and then we're going to pour that in along with... What we've got here is this is just uh, some tinned tomatoes, right? And we're just going to pour that in there like that. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening here. I'll yep. show you in just a minute actually what we've got at the bottom of the bowl here. And you then just try and do is all of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get okay. the skin in there because that's the high in fibre, okay. which is good for your, your morning, uh, morning breakfast. Ugh. We've also got a, uh, a tin of cannelloni beans here, and I've got the juice in there. Now I'm going to pour that all in. The reason we want that juice, we could add something like water or something like that, but there's actually quite a bit of starch in that liquid, and that's going to help thicken this up, because what we're doing here is we're cooking down all this liquid, then we're going to cook, place some eggs in there and bake it, and that's how we're going to get these baked eggs. You're it's going right? really well. <laughs> Can I just say, no, 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 I was just saying, you've had your first week with us. Um, yeah. How have you been enjoying it? Will you come back next week? Oh, I'll be here next week. Good. I'm absolutely loving it. You've done um, a great job. Yeah, Mark can stay in Europe. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, tell him don't tell him. Tell, tell, Tell him that. No, well, he yeah. keeps Instagramming me all the time, showing me photos of his holiday, and on the bottom of everything, Mark Southern, our resident chef, is always going, how's Tim going? Is he going all right? Just checking in on yeah, the music. Yeah, checking in. Yeah, yeah good for man. sure. Good man. Okay, cool. All right, so how you, yeah, that can well, get Well, I've murdered a little bit, but yeah, that's no, all right. Yeah, no, that's all right. So whack that in the bowl as well. Okay, so I want to show everybody what we've ended up with. So that it's kind of like watermelon, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. yeah, well, actually, it looks quite like watermelon. So we're just going to whack that straight in there. Okay, there you go. Right. All right. Do you need any more? You're right. Uh, well, we'll get that skin in there, okay, may as well. Sweet. I'll keep going then. 
I'm just don't want to get my fingernails <laughs> in it. Oh, you can probably whack it in like that. We'll be right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Take out that little stalky bit. There we just go. Just like that. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. All right. I'll put that back here. Now we do. We are going to add just a little bit of tomato paste. Mm -hmm. All right. Tomato paste is strong, obviously tomato flavour, but also a little bit of sweetness. You'll know that when you bite into a tomato, often it's quite acidic. Yep. Um, so we just need to add in a little bit of brown sugar as well. That's going to enhance that kind of caramelisation flavour that we've got through those onions and garlic. Now, uh, you've spent a week here. What would be the one ingredient that you would always have in your pantry? Oh, I think I've used, apart from the dessert, I think I've used onion and garlic every day. Okay, so, cool. Um, always uh, have that on hand yeah. and make up amazing meals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, cool. And the more I'm kind of learning about cooking, the more I'm... I'm uh, embracing this low and slow technique. It brings out so much more flavour. Nice. Uh, so don't be scared to spend time in a kitchen. It's a place where you can enjoy it. Grab a glass of wine, put on some good music. Nice. Yeah. Low Perfect and slow. Place. There you go. Another <laughs> good tip. Lots of good things, low and slow, that we like to enjoy. And that's, you know, in winter, the way you should be doing it. Go to thecafe.co.nz if you want the recipe. We'll come back very soon. See how Tim's going to finish this off. Yeah, how you going there, Tim? Yeah, good, thank you. Just brought them out of the oven. The eggs are still a little bit wobbly. I'm just going to whip up a dressing and then I'll bring it over and we'll, we'll get stuck in. So it's a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, the juice of a lemon. I'll just catch the seeds. And, uh, oh, Ooh, got it all yeah. over the table there. That's all right. All yeah. right, and then I've just got some fresh parsley leaves. Okay, you drizzle that over. Yep. And we'll bring it over. Great. Oh, that looks absolutely amazing. So what's on the menu for tomorrow? Uh, well, Monday. Well, we're going to be doing a uh, potato and leek soup. Yum, it sounds Yum. delicious. Okay. Thanks to all of our guests today as well. It's been a pleasure as always. Have a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>